North Melbourne were focused on a percentage boosting win against the side they thrashed the last time they met but they didn't look too convincing early. Absolutely no one on. Reese Palmer claimed the opening goal. Works it back and it's an opening goal to GWS. A nervous start for the Roos as the Giants landed another blow through Don Tyson. It fell beautifully into the arms of Tyson who puts it through. The Roos seemed to carry on their last quarter form from the week before. Harvey just sends it straight over the line. Andrew Swallow put his head over the ball. The skipper just managed to make the distance, but the goal umpire wasn't in any position to make a call. Looks like he has. Is it going to make the distance? Yep. Oh, and the goal umpire's gone down. It was bruising stuff for the umpires and players. Chad Corns crunching the pack before North clicked into gear. Time to just assess the whole situation, get balanced and drive it through for North's second goal. Matt Campbell collecting two in a row. Free kick, advantage and goal. Campbell another. But the home side were in front of the first break. Toby Green getting a little luck. Slave to the bounce, it's going to be a goal! It is! They're back in front. The Giants led by a point. Brad Scott not impressed. Campbell injected energy after the break, setting up Harvey. Deep. Harvey's ready for this. Took it, and he is gone, and so is the ball. And North are in front. But there were more concerns for the Roos. Blocky Hansen was subbed off after what appeared to be a clash of heads with a teammate. GWS kept ticking the boxes. Israel Folau showed a bit. The kick on oh, Folau did that comfortably. The star recruit finished the job. Good approach. It's hanging on. He's kicked it. He's got there. Well done, Izzy. Some rare enjoyment on the park for Folau at the end of his first tough season. Drew Petrie stood up for the Kangas. He converted and some magic from Harvey ended up setting the stage for Sam Gibson. He worked out exactly where he was and where the footy needed to go. A couple in a row to Sam Gibson. North kicking the last three for the quarter to take a 17-point buffer into half time. Goals to Harvey and Campbell put a good break on the home side. That will almost do the job. That is a terrific strike from Campbell. When Petrie landed his second to stay in the hunt for the Coleman medal, the Roos were away. And what a great wandering goal. He's coming. But the Giants responded. Jonathan Giles bagging two quick majors. Giles knows how to get the job done in front of goal. Falau was in defence and on the charge. It goes in and there's Palmer and he can stroll it and put it through. The fans at Skoda Stadium were loving Falau's form spike. North supporters weren't happy when Ryan Bastanak didn't get a free kick. That's a trip and that may well be looked at. He was left limping after the incident before Delaney unloaded to ignite a sluggish North. He reckons he can kick that. And you know what? He can. At the final break, the Roos led by 27 points. They needed a bigger win to secure a seventh spot on the ladder, and they started to get a move on. Harper decides to get a bit of Boomer Harvey inspiration and puts it through. Substitute Harper had four goals for the night, and when Thomas dribbled one through, the lead was out to 37. Thomas, so they've got a bit of a wriggle on here. Once again, GWS responded to make sure there was no blowout. He started it and he finishes it in style. Well done, Callum Ward. And well done to the Giants. North Melbourne posting an unconvincing win and no doubt very keen to lift the tempo for the first week of the finals. The Roos winning by 28 points, 16-9, 105 to 11-11, 77. Brett Clancy, Big Pond Sport.